While undoubtedly a throwback to the charms of the 8 and 16-bit era of gaming, the pixel art style continues to be a firm favourite amongst developers, publishers and players alike, and in early 2021, well, there's no sign of a slowdown in new pixel art games. With that in mind, we're taking a look at 25 pixel art titles, the ones we're most looking forward to playing, that with any luck are releasing later in the year. Now let's get things started off and in no real particular order at number 25 with Garden Story. Here you'll play the part of a newly appointed guardian of a village in what's a social simulator action adventure RPG with an emphasis on you helping out your local community. Players will traverse their way across a broken island, protect its inhabitants, make friends as you do and all the while solving mysteries along the way. Garden Story is expected to come out later this year onto PC and the Nintendo Switch. Next up at number 24 we have Overloop that's expected out on PC with it shaping up to be quite the graphic and gory looking puzzle platformer where you're able to clone your character and use these body doubles to help solve puzzles such as having them stand on a pressure plate, asking them to take a laser beam between the eyes rather than yourself or even use them as a stepping stone to get to hard to reach places. We recently played the demo which as this video airs can be found on its Steam homepage and as with all of the games featured here today, you can find links to them down there in the video description. Next over at number 23 and expected out this year in early access, Hell is Others is an intriguing looking roguelike meets farming shooter with online multiplayer elements where players will take to the streets to loot, explore, hunt and try to survive. Moving on and swiftly to number 22, No Place for Bravery bills itself as offering up a pixel art brutal Sekiro-esque in terms of its difficulty, all within a 2D top-down action RPG. We recently played a demo of this and found it a challenging but rewarding play, with it also having some pretty darn top-notch and in places ultra-violent visuals. This one's expected out this year onto PC, with it also coming to the Nintendo Switch. At number 21, and a game we played once more towards the tail end of last year. Now, we think 2D and Top D has a 2021 release timeframe, although it might move out into the following year. Now, this is really fun with it using two characters to solve puzzles. One character will see you platforming about the place, while the other opts to go down the top-down block-pushing approach, all within a hand-drawn aesthetic and synth-driven soundtrack. The couch co-op mode will be the one we're most excited about when this comes out this year or next and onto PCs most likely via Steam. Up next and at number 20 and expected out on March the 26th, Kays and the Wild Mask is a classic looking 16-bit inspired platformer where you play as Kays where you're looking to save your friend Hugo from a curse that spread chaos around your island's home. This naturally enough puts us in mind of playing these kind of games from way back when and we're expecting this to offer up a stern but enjoyable challenge. Kays and the Wild Masks is headed to PC, PlayStation, Xbox, the Switch and also the Google Stadia platform. At number 19 we have the most delightfully named game of this entire rundown. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion is coming to PC and the Switch with it being a Zelda looking single player adventure game full of dungeons, enemies and treasure with some farming. There's also said to be an enjoyable story and plenty of tax evasion as you look to bring down a corrupt vegetable government. Coming up next at number 18, Bashiden is a 2D action platformer side scrolling Metroidvania with plenty of added beat em up elements thrown into the mix. What's super compelling about this one, for us at least, is how the team behind it have created a super smoothly animated central character alongside the rest of the art style, particularly the backgrounds which are an utter delight. Likely to appeal to old school players and folks looking to scratch that strider itch, Bashiden is said to be coming out at some point in the spring or summer for PC, PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. At number 17, and one we featured on the channel a few times over the past couple of years, we have Backbone. Set within a walled-off dystopian alternate reality Vancouver, 
Backbone is a detective, cinematic role-playing game with elements of stealth, puzzles and branching dialogues, all within an original jazz-based soundtrack. There's a prologue of the game available to play as this video goes up, which gives you the chance to play the game's first act, which gives a fine hint at where Backbone may take us when it's finally out. Likely out this year onto PC and all of the more usual consoles. Moving onwards and at number 16, Lunark is a 2D cinematic platformer that, with its graphics and character animations, is very firmly in the vein of games from the 80s and 90s, with one game in particular we have full front and centre in mind, like we imagine many of you do watching this video. Players will run, jump, climb, hang and roll their way through mysterious alien ruins, majestical forests, floating prisons and high-tech metropolises. Visually, well, it's certainly impressive, with it also said to be coming with a thrilling narrative when it comes out this year onto PC and, like many others in this rundown, the Nintendo Switch. Over at number 15, and another game we've featured here on the channel from time to time before, Death Trash is slated to pop out this year in early access. Influenced by horror and cyberpunk, Death Trash is looking to combine the crunch and depth of old-school role-playing classics with a modern take on the controls and overall feel. It's an open-world single-player adventure, although it does have optional local co-op elements. Coming later in the year onto PC and the Nintendo Switch, and at number 14, Jack Move is a gritty looking cyberpunk RPG with turn based battles and some truly striking modern pixel artwork. Players will take on the role of Noah, a vigilante hacker thrust into a world of murder, kidnapping, and all round villainy. Earmarked with a winter launch timeframe on its Steam homepage, although it doesn't say which year. Our number 13, Radio the Universe, claims to be a minimalistic journey within a visually detailed, thematically varied world where you'll find a slow-paced challenge designed to gradually engage with players, be they adopt a simple or complex playstyle. At number 12, Gestalt Steam and Cinder is a narrative-driven steampunk Metroidvania following a mercenary on a quest to unravel a grand conspiracy within a hugely detailed and impressive looking city. Said to fuse the world building of classic and iconic RPGs with an expansive world as seen in all of your favourite and memorable Metroidvanias, Gestalt looks in places quite breathtaking and is looking to come out later in the year for all of the consoles as well as your PCs. Coming to PC with a planned release date within the third quarter of the year, our number 11, Cleo the Pirate's Tale, is a top-down, retro-inspired pirate adventure. Like a few others in this list, there's a little bit of Zelda going on here, with this also being inspired by the classic LucasArts adventure games. Split into four chapters, players will join Cleo as she leaves behind a dull and repetitive life to one that's full of danger, greed, and so we're told in the press info, a little bit of bad breath. Cleo A Pirate's Tale is headed to PC via Steam. Next up at number 10 we have Smelter, which seems to be looking to offer a hybrid of fast and precise platforming with sections of top-down driven strategy. Players can expect to meet a cast of amusing and charismatic characters, with you able to build and master three different skill sets. With mysteries to uncover and secrets to find, Smelter should be out at some point this year, with it coming to all of the usual consoles and to PC. Having played the lengthy prologue to Chinatown Detective Agency towards the tail end of last year, it's all shaping up to be alongside Backbone from earlier, one of the better detective-themed games coming out this year. The game follows a former police officer in Singapore, now running their own detective agency in a near future timeline. The game will deliver multiple narrative-driven cases for players to solve, within a challenging and creative environment where in places you'll need to undertake tasks in real life to be able to solve the puzzles from within the game. Chinatown Detective Agency is expected out on PC during the summer. Next up and over in 8th place, 
chained echoes is a 16-bit snes inspired rpg set within a charming looking fantasy world full of dragons heroes and foes it's as you might expect a story driven game where a group of travelers make their way across the land looking to bring an end to a war that's ravaged its three kingdoms with around 20 to 25 hours of playtime turn-based battles and plenty of items to be crafted looted or stolen Chained Echoes looks like it could be rather special when it comes out this year or perhaps next onto the Nintendo Switch or PC. At number 7 and said to be coming out within the first quarter of the year for the Switch and PC as well as the Xbox and PlayStation, Eldest Souls feels likely to be a challenging pixel art boss rush game that, well, there's likely to be plenty of death amongst the sword-based gameplay. While we haven't played it, we understand from a few people that have, it's likely to be described as one of those kind of games people love to make comparisons with, let's say, a certain franchise which we'll not point out here. Either way, yes, it looks jolly hard work and it's probably above our battle-weary fighting skill set. Moving on at number 6, Flynn, son of Crimson, will see you play as Flynn. A young man, having been orphaned as a child with a beautifully handcrafted 2D pixelated world, threatened with what's called a looming darkness. With an emphasis on player discovery and non-linear exploration, altogether with what appears to be a fast-paced and satisfying combat system with Metroidvania elements, Flynn Son of Crimson should be coming to home PCs alongside the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One and, we think, the Nintendo Switch. At number 5, Nykra is an existential narrative-driven sci-fi adventure with platforming sections. It tells a story that tackles the hypothetical feeling of living without purpose. Your character will discover alien ruins and literature and soon realise things are not quite what they were led to believe. Expected this year onto PCs. Onwards and at the number 4 position, Mighty Goose is an enchanting looking supremely fast paced run and gun shooter where you play funnily enough as a battle hardened goose bounty hunter. All of this looks to be a solid arcade style type of game with exciting looking boss battles and character upgrade paths allowing players to adapt your goose in a way that suits your own playstyle. We're huge fans of this one, particularly from how vibrant it all looks and sounds, with it coming this year to PC and all of the consoles. Next, and over at number 3, and likely to be one of the most popular games in the whole of the rundown, we have Narita Boy. Now all of this colourful affair is inspired by such retro games as Castlevania, Another World and Double Dragon, with the developers having added modern touches and tweaks with them also using plot lines from such 1980s films as Ready Player One, He-Man and The Last Starfighter. Said to be easy to learn, simple to play but difficult to master, we're thinking this could be one of the highest selling games of the rundown when it comes to PC by way of Steam as well as onto the PlayStation, Switch and Xbox consoles. At number 2 and something unlike most of the games in this rundown, Cloud Jumper seems a chill game where you take to the skies in a story full of colourful characters as you craft and export goods, map uncharted islands and decipher strange and mysterious artefacts. The lo-fi pixel artwork with the Ghibli inspired backgrounds offer up what we're happy to call a stunningly beautiful visual display with it supposedly coming soon to PC. So at number one, and looking astounding, we have Eastwood, a top-down action RPG set in a post-end-of-days environment. Your players Sam and John, with the game using a dual character system where you can switch between them both and use their differing abilities to solve puzzles or to take on and defeat enemies you find along your journey. Eastwood is due to release sometime in 2021 onto the Nintendo Switch, where we think it'll be one heck of a unit shifter, with it also headed out for PCs. And with that, 2021 is shaping up with some really solid looking pixel art games. So which of these are you planning on playing? 
leave us a comment and if you like the video click like and if you haven't already please consider subscribing as we edge closer to that 100,000 subscriber silver play button. Either way many thanks for watching and we'll see you right here next time on Get Indie Gaming.